All right, team, I'm here to let you guys know community building in data is not scary. My name is Ravid Jain, founder and host of The Ravid Show. I love helping the data community to upskill themselves in this space. I'm thrilled to contribute to the Data is Not Scary series. Today, I'll give you four essential tips that will help you build a data community for yourself. Okay, let's just dive into it. The first tip and the most important thing to remember while building a data community is your focus. That is the topic. What do you want to focus? Please make sure that you are noting that this down very carefully while building a data community. That what are the important topics that you want to cover for your audience? And this could be identified obviously through uh, simply seeing what are the most commonly asked questions in the space, and also it should align with your expertise. So always remember your focus will take you long way, and you will be well known for that in the longer run. Not like you can't have more things included in that, but uh, that's something where you start and people remember you that way. Second tip is the, you know, I think it's very essential while building a data community is where you're focusing in terms of the demographics. This is a very important question because what I feel is sometimes we kind of uh, get carried away to build a community just locally. But uh, keep that in mind that if you wish to go out for a global audience, it's not a bad idea. But also with the global audience, uh, there are a lot of challenges. But at the same time, there's a lot of advantages for, on that too. So do you want to be known for physical events, virtual events, or both? So like I mentioned, always remember global communities have gaps, but uh, the advantage if they can learn from each other the folks who are joining a community so my preference has always been having a global community so just just make sure where the demographic sits and just prepare for that uh, third tip that is very important what type of content are you creating for your audience that will attract the audience to be a part of your community there are various types of content that you can create for your community such as blog posts recordings podcast, email, newsletters. Uh, I think also you can go out for thought leadership or point of views, infographics, how to guides and much more. These are like super important because I feel in, if you want to start building a community, your content will kind of attract them to get into your community and that will help you to build a very strong community in terms of the knowledge area as well. Also focus on your content like where the most of your folks are kind of engaging. And like if it's a blog, obviously focus more on blogs, but uh, not like you wouldn't want to go do a podcast or videos. Please keep that going as well. But just keep that in mind what kind of works for your audience well. Uh, just keep those matrix handy and go ahead with those much higher in the game. I would suggest start with small and go bigger on those types of content that will that works best for your audience. So this is my third tip. And now coming on to the fourth tip, please ensure you are interacting with your community and be the giver. You need to realize when folks invest time in your community, the ROI they get out of it helps them in their career. And not only just that, but also opens up a lot of opportunities for them in the longer run. Another huge benefit of having a global community is the cross culture. And that's why I prefer global community and global audience. I love our data community and for any information that you need around data community building, networking, creating content, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn. And you can also check us on www.therobertshow.com. And trust me, data community building is not scary. Thank you everyone uh, for listening and see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.